So this is the integration for question uh, for 2005-2006 and in this question we're going to use the substitution technique okay so that's an important uh, how we're going to that's the sort of the main theme of this video is the substitution technique so the question is here is to identify a part of this expression here and uh, you uh, substituted the value u. Um, so we're going to uh, let this part here, 2 plus sine x, we're going to let that equal to u. So let, oops, pen size, let u equal to 2 plus sine x. Okay. Now, what we have to do here is find the derivative, derivative of du of u. So du dx is simply cos of x. Or correctly, it's zero plus cos of x, but because the derivative with respect to x of two is just zero. Okay, I'm going to re-express that du is equal to cos x dx. Okay, that's going to be very useful very shortly because you see in the expression we have a cos x term and a dx term, and together we can replace them with du. Okay, so let's just write this out again. By the way, something I should have remarked upon this is a definite integral with limits of uh, pi, uh, 0 to pi over 2. So cos x by 2 plus sine x squared dx we can let that equal to um, well actually what I'm going to do now is just actually just sort of disregard the limits for the time being and we'll come back to them later on is the we're going to let that equal to uh, integral I keep forgetting to change my font back. Uh, remember we let u equals 2 plus sine of x and we found that du was equal to cos x dx. That means that we can rewrite our expression as u squared, which is the 2 plus sine squared, times du. Okay? Um, so we have all, we've accounted for all of the terms. The answer to that is u cubed over three. Very simple enough expression that. Uh, that is equal to. Uh, but, but okay, plus c because we have to put that we've sort of written it as a definite an indefinite integral. Let that equal to uh, two plus sine x all over 3 and that's, we have to cube that as well okay now we're going to put in our um, def uh, we're going to put in our limits and we're going to evaluate the definite integral okay so we have this term here and that is the answer to the indefinite integral but we are going to evaluate the definite integral so 2 plus sine of x cubed all over 3 and the limits are pi over 2 and 0 so let's evaluate that out that is 2 plus sine pi over 2 cubed all over 3 minus 2 plus sine of 0 cubed all over 3 okay that uh, sine of 0 is just 0 sine of pi over 2 is 1 okay so what we have here is 2 plus 1 over 3 2 plus 1 cubed all over 3 minus 
2 plus 0 cubed over 3 so that is 27 over 3 minus 8 over 3 that is equal to 19 over 3 so the answer is 19 over 3 okay so that's the answer to the 2005 2006 one what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause it a second and we'll have a look at the 2006 2007 one so that's the expression there and we're going to use the substitution technique again now in the case of something like this you have to be very careful about what you let, uh, let equal to you so what we have here is we have this expression here x cubed plus one in brackets and that is to the power of four so it's a sort of very complicated expression like that is actually probably the most useful to pick out okay so we're going to let u equals x cubed plus one let's find the derivative of that du dx is equal to uh, two uh, sorry three x squared plus zero okay so du and we're going to keep uh, we're just going to divide this by three so we're going to re-express this as du divided by 3 is equal to x squared dx. Now the reason for that is that we have an x squared term here and we have a dx term here, if you follow me. Okay, so let's just write this again. x squared times x cubed plus 1 to the power of 4 dx. We're going to let that equal to let, letting u equals x cubed plus 1 and x squared dx is equal to du over d over 3 so we can rewrite that as uh, u to the power of 4 over 3 du okay so that is equal to u to the power of 5 by 3 times 5 okay essentially we just said we could take the 3 out of it and just treat it separately which might be handy okay so that u to the power of 4 the derivative of that is u to the power of 5 over 5 and have this separate term here by 1 third change my font size so Anyway, the answer is still the same. U over five over plus uh, U to the power of five over fifteen uh, plus C. This is an indefinite integral. Okay, there's no limits in this one, so this is just an indefinite integral. All we have to do now is put back in the value of U. So that is the integral. The answer is. Um, x cubed plus 1 all to the power of 5 over 15 plus the co the undetermined coefficient there okay so that is two in a uh, substitu uh, substitution technique integration questions from 2005 6 and 2006 7 we'll leave it there